Good morning and welcome to Zen Fits here in Blackstone, Virginia, the center of the world. I hope you're having a Zen fit today. A Zen fit for me, is, it's a metaphorical fit, but I love the ambiguity of it because a fit is either having a, ah, I'm having a fit, uh, a breakdown, a fit, or everything fits. You know, everything fits. So a Zen fit is both a breakdown and a fit. You see? It's both a destruction and a creation. A Zen fit. And this is metaphorical. So my talk today is, uh, uh, your world is the carnivorous island. So I was writing on Facebook as I do in the morning and I usually get an idea and when an idea, when I get that idea, it's always like, I gotta go jump in the live, I gotta go jump in, in, in the live camera, I gotta go jump in here, like going jumping in a pool. It's almost like I come running to the camera, turn it on and write the title down and start talking, start swimming, you see. <laughs> the idea wants to come out. The idea is a fit. A fit is, is, is disturbing and satisfying. When nothing fits, that's a fit. When everything fits, that's a fit, you see. So when nothing fits, that's, that's an irritant, that's a thorn. That's, I gotta get to the fit. I gotta get from nothing fits to everything fits. I gotta get there. So now, you see what I mean? So our whole life is a fit. Our whole life is, I'm having a fit. Dissatisfaction, nothing fit. I can't get it to fit. I can't get this thing to work. I can't get my life to work. I can't get all the bills paid. I can't find rest. I can't find home. Just when I think I'm home, I have a fit. And now I gotta get to the fit. You see, now when, when nothing fits, I look around for a means to get to everything fits. So there's all kinds of, all, <clears throat> on Facebook particularly, all of the uh, spiritual teaching is a means to get from one fit to the next fit. In other words, when I'm having a fit, how do I get to everything fits? So people will offer you steps. 25 steps to mindfulness. Five ways to meditate. Uh, if six easy ways. Uh, yada, yada, yada. To get from fit to fit. But a Zen fit is boom. It fits and doesn't fit. Doesn't fit and fits is the same. That's not logical. That's not, consciousness can't handle that. Everything must be either a bad fit or a good fit. <clears throat> can't be both at the same time. <clears throat> but if you get into Hindu myth mythology, which is, which I was introduced to uh, when I began my yoga path, the whole of myth Hindu mythology, instead of Western mythology, is ambiguity. Shiva is creation and destruction at the same time. Not separate. In, in the Western traditions, you got the, the devil is the bad fit and God is the good fit. So you got to get from the bad fit to the good fit and there's time. How long will it take me to get there? You see, what do I have to do? What is the way? What is the means to get from a bad fit to a good fit? In Hindu mythology, you're already there. Coming and going, you never leave home. Because Buddhism is a, uh, is, is a, uh, uh, Albert, Alan Watts or somebody said, uh, uh, Buddhism is Hinduism for export. <laughs> but the point is, all right, so let's go to the movie title here. Your world is a carnivorous island. Did you see the life of Pi? Loved that movie, saw it twice. And it still perks. It's a metaphor that perks, you see. It, it, it's a metaphor. It, it, the life of Pi is a fit where nothing, where it doesn't fit. And then, so you see this, when it doesn't fit, let's put it this way. 
Everything fits. Life fits. You fit. Everything fits. But our consciousness pulls them apart. It doesn't fit. And now it does fit as in the future. You see? Everything fits. You fit. The world fits. Everything fits. Reality fits. But our mind, our consciousness, our logical mind, our Western mind, are either or, good or bad, up or down, in or out, life or death, dark or light, all of this either or logic pulls the fit apart. So now I feel it doesn't fit, and the, and the belief, and I know it's there, where everything does fit, is in the future. So now i got to get from it doesn't fit to it does fit, you see. But the doesn't fit and the does fit is the same fit. But our mind, our logic, our either or, it's got to be either fit or doesn't fit. It can't be fit, doesn't fit, you see. It can't be this. It can't be this, that. It has to be this or that. You have to choose. There has to be a means. There has to be time. There has to be time. That's consciousness. Time. We're lost in time. There's no way to get out of time. Where nothing fits. You see, nothing fits in time. That's why we create time. So we create time so we have the promise of something fitting in the future. The promise lands when everything fits. <laughs> So the only way out of the of the uh, out of our world is to die. Then everything fits, and you can rest in peace. Peace is when everything fits. So you're going to get to death. To everything pissed. They've gone to a better place. You see, <laughs> everything fits when you're dead, but when you're alive, it's hell, and nothing fits. Maybe for a moment, but then it falls apart. Maybe you're on top of the world, but the Titanic, Titanic sinks. <laughs> So the life of Pi, there's an island in Pi. So Pi is on, the life of Pi is a movie that doesn't fit. It gives you a fit, but then it fits. But you've got a leap to the fit. Now what is the unfit of Pi? Well, there's two stories. There's the story of the boy and the tiger. And there's the, sto the newspaper story, the clipping, the real world, the, the real world, uh, the factual world which is what there was no tiger. It was a boy and a cook and some people and they killed each other and ate each other. It was the story of cannibalism. Or was it a boy with the Bengal tiger who had all these adventures? Or was it the boy with the cook? Was it was, was fantasy or was it reality? Was it idealism or was it realism? It didn't fit. The movie left you with which is it? Which is the life of Pi? Was this whole movie just fantasy, and it was just a sordid tale of a boy uh, and a and and a cook uh, resorting to cannibalism, killing each other? I forgot the exact thing, but it was a newspaper story, a back page story, an insignificant story. But the but the boy with the tiger was a front page story. It was a story of wonder. You were Pa. You were. You were. You were on an adventure. But the second story, the newspaper story, the real story, was not an adventure. It was just a clipping in the newspaper. You see, it was factual. It was real. But the tiger wasn't real. You can't have a you can't have be in a lifeboat with a tiger. You know. It's fantasy, a dream. But Ty does stop at the carnivorous island, and he thought, oh, we're rescued, a refuge. And it was filled with pools and meerkats. And they were just like a, a mass of meerkats all looking. Doo -doo 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 -doo. But Ty discovered, to his horror, that during the night, the pools turned to poison, and the island, he said, the island gave during the day, but took away at night. It was a carnivorous island. It would eat you. 
So he took the tiger, he got the tiger, and they left. And as he moved away, floated away, and I remember seeing that when I was watching the movie, I remember with the second time I realized that the island was Vishnu floating on his back, dreaming a world. In Hinduism, Vishnu dreams the world. But that's a metaphor. What's it a metaphor of? We are dreaming the world. You are dreaming the world you live in. You are Vishnu. So Vishnu is a metaphor for you dreaming the world where what is given during the day is taken away at night. You win the lottery today, you lose your, you're scammed the next day, you lose your money. Whatever you do today is taken away at night. It's catch-22. That's another island, catch-22. I forgot his name. Yes, Yossarian couldn't get off the island because Yes is no. No is yes. Everything turns into its own opposite. On the carnivorous island, life turns into death. Everything turns into its opposite, like the moon. Rising, falling, falling, rising. Around and around you go. It's a round of, in Buddhism, it's called the round of uh, life and death, birth and rebirth. So our whole life is a birth and a rebirth of yes and no. Today's yes is tomorrow's no. Every yes is a no. Every yes, everything turns into its opposite. You can't find a permanent fix. Everything is permanently unfixed. You get, you see, we live in a world where nothing is permanently fixed. It's always changing from fixed to unfixed. And we go round and round looking for a way out looking for a means. How many, how long must I meditate? When can I arrive when everything fits, you see? This time, nothing fits way in the few. How long will it take for everything to fit? How long do I have to meditate before everything fits? Think, meditate on that. You can see it. It's everywhere, you see. So this tension it's like you take the one, you divide it by our logic, our choice. Now you got to choose. Now, now you got a division of light and dark, up and down, yes and no. And we pull them apart, you see, and there's a tension. And this tension, like a rubber band, wants to pull them back together. But it can't because we have separated it by time, you see. So this is now... And this is tomorrow, or next year, or when will I arrive? It's there, you see, and there's a tension. So we're constantly at unrest because of the tension created by pulling the one apart into the unfixed and the fixed. So a Zen fix, a Zen fix is ambiguous. And the ambiguity is that everything is unfits and fits at the same time, and that <coughs> uh, <laughs> where am I going to go with this? This creates a leap when when the fit and the when the unfit and the fit comes together. It's aha. When the unfit and the fit comes together, it's in Zen, it's Kensho. When the unfit and the fit comes together, it's an idea. When the unfit and the fit comes together, it's I know what to do. This can be in everyday life. Suddenly you got a fit and then suddenly, oh, you know what to do. Everything fits and you go on. Little things. Just opening, for me, just opening a package. <laughs> I can't open a package. I got it. It doesn't fit. I can't get it to. My wife comes along and goes zip, and it fits. <laughs> so, <laughs> so that's what my little everyday neurosis is. That is that when <clears throat> when I get something that doesn't fit, and somebody's standing there watching me, I can't make it fit. I go wow, 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 wow. 
I think that goes back to my father who used to do that. But anyway, so the carnivorous island is our consciousness, a world we dream, where nothing fits, but one day it will fit. What we have during the day is taken away at night. Thanks for dropping in. Have a Zen fit today. Can't turn it off.